All right, everyone, welcome back. This is unit one, lesson three, solution video for question three. In this video, we're gonna create or design a tip and bill splitting calculator. So the program should take these inputs, party size, the cost of the meal, and the percentage for the tip. The output should be the amount, of, amount for the tip and how much each person would be paying for the meal. So let's start with the inputs first. We're gonna be dividing this program with the input processing output model and design a program and see how it runs. So starting off with their input, if you notice the program states that we need the party size, the cost of the meal and percentage for the tip. So let's create variables for each and set up the input. So the, uh, the party size, let's call that variable party size, set it to an integer value of input. And let's give a little prompt for the users so they, they know what to input in this area. We're gonna say, enter your party size, colon space. Next input that we need is the cost of the meal. So we're gonna go cost meal. We're gonna set that to a float, input, enter the total cost of the meal. And then we're gonna ask them to enter a tip percentile. However, uh, a percentage is not a data type in programming. The only numeric data type that we've been working with is either integer or a floating point. So this time, so we're gonna ask it for an integer value, then we, are, we will convert it into some sort of full uh, percentile later on. So we're gonna go tip percent is equal to int of an input, enter the tip percentage as an integer. Uh, for example, 15 would be 15%, something like that. And let's put a colon in the space there. Perfect. So I have these three inputs. In our processing part, we're going to be taking those three inputs and uh, manipulating them so that we can calculate the amount, uh, the total amount for the tip and how much each person would be paying for the meal. So let's move on to processing. I need variables to hold these answers. So let's start off with the tip amount. Tip amount is calculated by um, uh, multiplying the total cost of the meal by the tip percentile. So we're gonna get cost of the meal. Our multiplication symbol is the uh, asterisk operator. And then we're gonna do tip percent divided that by 100. Because we took the tip percent as an integer, as a whole value, so if they put 15, we're not going to be multiplying our cost meal by 15, but rather we wanted to multiply 0 0.15. Therefore, we're going to divide whatever their tip percentile was by 100. Next, let's calculate total cost because I want to know what the total cost is before I divide up and calculate how much each person would be paying. So the total cost would be the cost of the meal add, adding the tip. Then I can say cost per person as a variable, set that to total cost divided by party size. Now, you don't need to always create all these variables for your um, solution. If you wanted to, you could have created one variable that said the result and put all of this in one. However, I noticed that in this program, the output should be the amount for the tip and how much each person is paying for the meal. So I wanted at least two variables to hold those separate values. So in our output section, we can just write little outputs to finalize our program. We can say the tip amount was comma, let's see, the tip variable print. And we can say each person pays uh, cost per person. So we're going to output those two variables. Once again, print function works with either us inputting a string value or outputting a variable. And now if I have multiple arguments, in this case, I have one, two, I want to separate it with our uh, commas. So let's try out this program. So we're going to say there are two people, their total cost meal was $10. And our tip percentile, let's say it was 20%. So the tip amount was two and each pay, person pays six because the total cost would have been 12. So this was our basic 
programming solution where we got to create some variables, use some of our type conversion functions, and got to do some mathematical arithmetic to help us find the tip and how to split our bill when we get a, um, let's say, a restaurant bill. Thank you for watching. Stay classy.